You know who had who chimed in on on inflation was Cardi B. None other than Cardi B. Whoa, whoa, whoa. is it five minutes? Yeah, we're not gonna listen to the whole thing. <laughs> I've been helping so many people for so many years. I never have helped out so many people for the past seven, eight months. And I remember something, right? Let me tell you something. A couple of months ago, I was helping um, a cousin yeah. get an apartment, right? It's kind of excessive. And now I'm helping somebody else get an apartment. Bro, I was looking at some areas, the way that the prices soar up. So everybody's like, yo, when the interest rate is gr is good, that is it's high. That's great because people, uh, people have to fucking sell their home for less. So you could buy a home for less. And it's like, bitch, it doesn't matter if the interest rate is motherfucking high as fuck. And, and, and <laughs> okay. actually, bitch, there's not even inventory. That's one. But that's another. That's, that's another. Probably... No now inventory. let's talk about the fact that the fucking rent. The rent. I'm talking. I was talking about buying house. Now I'm going back to rent. Like, how are people surviving? I want to know. I want to know too. I, you know, like my family and my friends, they're so grateful to have me. Yeah, I bet. but it's just like, yo, what happened to people that don't have a me? Britain and LA, they're gonna start having more blackouts because Britain gotta pay double the price when it comes to electricity. Oh, that's true, dude. How long are we gonna watch this? Cardi B. Every single time that we saying that something Wait. bad in the economy is happening, <laughs> I just like listening. And people to her be talk. like, "Well, you was the one that told people to vote for Joe Biden." But this is the thing, right? After the pandemic, I knew that this shit was gonna happen. I knew we was gonna have a financial crisis. And the thing about she it knew is we that were gonna have a financial crisis. Why didn't you let us know? It's all over the world. You should have said that. I don't shit cook. All right, can we turn it off? We're gonna have bad inflation. Like, you should have tossed that in fucking WAP, man. What were you doing? She was too busy, uh... She was too busy whopping. Pissing Ben Shapiro off with her wet S P word. Ben Shapiro is... Can you find his tweet about the railroad workers? So, the, I, I guess he's commenting on the uh, tentative deal. Yeah. The entire Democratic Union strategy is... Number one, the unions spend billions to get Democrats elected. Number two, unions threaten to strike in... A in advance of an election. He's talking about the midterms. Three Democrats force through an absolute sweetheart deal for unions, declare victory. And there's an asterisk there. And he says the asterisk, the asterisk is you pay for it. I love how also he's talking about an absolute sweetheart deal, which is maybe being able to go to the doctor. Yeah, and not get paid for it, but just not get penalized. Oh, for yeah, it. yeah. Th you're, this is unpaid leave. Yeah. Suck my dick, Ben Shapiro. You fucking, you little shit you little worm these guys are all such worms cuz they 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 are very anti corporations in in almost every aspect of everything they're but they're, they're not really but this then they're the, not yeah right. then they're like oh what what you can't just let corporations run amok and do their thing what that's the free market economy but also at the same time corporations are evil and they control everything make up your fucking mind Right. I mean, this is a perfect opportunity to talk, to talk about, you know, corporate power in the railroad industry. I mean, it's it's all been consolidated into like four major companies. Yeah. You know, they've slowly financialized the whole thing, turning it into, you know, longer and longer. The precision scheduled railroading thing. It's like, you know, this just in time shipping bullshit where it's like everything's got to be as quick as possible. Cutting cutting the workforce. So you're paying less people. Yeah. They, I, these people are so they don't have they don't have an actual point of view they just have they just have whatever is anti even even just <clears throat> just left of center just whatever they can keep making these kind of talking points to rile up their base because without them they don't have any viewers or listeners or people I don't get how this yeah no that's totally what happens every time the unions always get Democrats elected, then unions always threaten to strike in advance of an election. I'd like to see the data on this. I just can't imagine his, you know, base of his audience is like, yeah, fuck them. Like, well, that's the thing. He's telling them you're you're paying for it somehow. You are paying for it. And the thing is, we always are paying for this shit because like when you're talking about disruptions, this is the stuff we were talking about with David Dan. Like, yeah. this stuff already happens. They're spending all their money on fucking stock buybacks rather than track maintenance, rather than, you know, having more people on the cruise. So, sure. you know, when something goes wrong, it's not a huge delay. You're already going to see these things no matter what. You know, we are paying for it. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's interesting that it is never, ever, 
ever <laughs> the fault of companies and corporations. It is always the Democrat unions, the greedy unions. Fat cat unions. The fat cat unions, the fat cat teachers and shit that uh, that just want- Oh, like, I love when they do that. The oh, fucking, the teacher the greedy unions? Teachers oh, yeah. Unions. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Yeah, these people- uh, there, it, How much longer will we bend the knee you to know, the teachers? Ben Shapiro's yarmulke that he always wears must be controlled by some kind of some kind of parasite that's plugged into his brain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have you now. If we went back to like the triangle shirtwaist factory fire. They would find a way to oh, blame to it blame on, on board. Oh, so now they're going to, this poor company is going to lose out on like 5% margins. 5% more of their margins are going to get eaten into because these, what? Because there was an accident? What? Because they locked the doors of right. the... Uh, of maybe the, if these employees were a bit more obedient, they wouldn't have to lock the doors. Yeah, maybe if they didn't need as much sleep to do the job whatever the fuck happened i don't remember what what happened they locked the doors in the yeah. triangle shirtwaist factory and then there was a fire yeah and they couldn't get out man what the fuck is a shirtwaist oh come on man you don't know a shirtwaist no i don't either what the fuck is it like a man blouse <laughs> i don't know a blouse is just a shirt can we stop calling it that get the fuck out of here but All it's right. different yeah you're right it is it's more flowy when was the last time you wore a suit i don't remember but i gotta get one for a I wedding get i'm one going too. to in, in november fuck God damn it.